I found them that she sent me and I also took these out of stuff that she sent me these little flowers which we are going to put on and some wooden buttons and these butterflies that I can cover and these and some ladybugs so cute Cute, cute, cute. So cute. So look at these little tiny bumblebees that she sent me. I'm so excited. I can't deny it. They were a find I found at a rummage sale. Of course you did, Martha. <laughs> what don't you find at rummage sales? True. Oh my true. goodness, a bumblebee in the beehive. Can't get any better than that. And I need another glue stick. Uh, this little bumblebee can go right about there. Oh my goodness, that's so adorable. I love it. I'm loving how this botanical stuff is turning out. I am putting some stuff down here, but I want to maybe put a ladybug. You know, ladybugs are very good for the earth. And these are Jolie's boutiques. So, these are adorable. And I'll be gessoing them. So let's put a butterfly, or a ladybug on a leaf right there. On this. And we need a ladybug right in here. These guys are so darn cute. And uh, well, we need a ladybug crawling on the tree. We'll put a big ladybug here. All right, I like that. Um, kind of like this little flower. I think I'll stick it off this tree right there. It's gonna get gessoed anyways. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. I grabbed pine cones too. First, oh yeah, yeah. Pine cones down there would be cool. Yes, but first of all, let me see what I've got for. You can even do beads on the trees, like it was gonna be apples or something. Yeah, I could. Um, I'm going to get some of this 49 and Market stuff. Pick it all off. And kind of have it drooping like a vine up here. So I'm just going to cut it because it's too big. And it's looking like a squared corner. So we could glue that like right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Hey. Put it down there. Glue it there and glue that there. And glue this piece too. Now my finger back and glue that down. And I think we better glue this guy. Let me just hold that. There we go. Now we could put this piece alongside um, here. No, I'm thinking here. We could even have it go off the canvas, which might look pretty nice. Let's do that. Wow. Oh, that is so pretty. Now, I need some pine cones. Hi. And I just kind of want them sitting here. So I'm going to kind of hide that under there. So we'll put a pine cone right here. Kind of hide it under there. Well, I'll put a little flower there to cover up that thing 
and we'll just drop one here like that those pine cones are dorbs now um, I should have one coming off here like that yeah why not we're gonna work off the canvas same with this bird I love these hummingbirds and I might just do that. How about yeah. middle of the clock? Put that one there. Um, where? Up here? In the, no, the big clock. This one? Yeah. Put a hummingbird there? Yeah, that would be cool. I don't have another one. I got a hummingbird right there, though. See? Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah. Um, but I do have another hummingbird. Where should I put this guy? Right there. Layers upon layers. That's where he's going to go. Um, how about we put a butterfly in there? This one right here. this dragonfly thinking putting it maybe here this way yeah this way so we'll put it kind of like that and a slant and I think I'll put a ladybug on them because ladybugs are cute and a ladybug with a leaf store. These are adorable. I or really... did I find them up north? Um, I don't know, but I really love them. Yeah, they are cute. They are dorks. But I always did love ladybugs. We'll put one right in the corner. Um, I do have some leaves. We could actually hang this one off the canvas too, right there. Let's cut that off though. I'll bring it down more. There we go. And I'm seriously thinking of bringing this off, taking this off, and layering a leaf here so I can put dimension here. And then stick the butterfly on top to give it some dimension. Yeah. There we go. And we need to put something over here, like, um, hmm. uh, I'd say another ladybug. Well, don't you say another ladybug? Oh, the wings, came, the antennas came off that one. Let's put a ladybug right there. I think ladybugs are beautiful. I love, love, love ladybugs. Look at this pretty little branch. Stick that underneath this butterfly here, like that. So we'll just put it there. Stick it under like so. I think I'm going to put that there. Maybe. No. Change my mind. Here's a leaf. If I put that inside underneath. No. How about here? It's too flat. Need something underneath it. How about a filigree piece? And then put the leaf on it. 
Nope. Um, how about we just use a piece of this? That. And put a fallen leaf on it. Like that. Um, now, I do love these flowers, even though they're acrylic, we could put these in places, too. Um, let's stick one right there. And one right here. These are beautiful. These are acrylic ones, Martha. And we're going to put one there. Yeah, aren't they, though? Uh-huh. They sure are. And we need to stick one right up here. I'm still in camera. Mm -hmm. I'm still in frame. Hey. Hey. I think I'm gonna put one on this butterfly leaf, like our butterfly wing. And we're gonna put one right across there to camouflage the joining of that. That's super cute. Oh my God, I love the bumblebee so much. I do. I think they're adorable. We'll put another one right there. Uh huh. I got crystals, Swarovski crystals in here, but I'm not putting those on until I'm all done because I want the sparkle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, can't, you yeah. cannot, by any means, cover a crystal. Hell no. No. So, I mean, you can, but that's a waste of, waste of prettiness. Yes, it is. So all I'm doing right here is camouflaging that um, loop, or what do you call this, the hook for the pine cone. Where was the other one? Huh? I don't care. I'm just going to put some flowers on now. Some beautiful. Where did you put the pine cones? I don't remember. <laughs> There's so much stuff on there. Like uh, Pine Waldo. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like uh, all botanical. It's like a botanical garden. Right. Do you think it's too crowded? No. By the time you paint over it and do well, everything else to it, it'll probably be beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure things will be standing out like a sore thumb on this. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to use these last two little roses because they're just beautiful like that. And I think the bees need a pollen, something to pollinate, so have at her. Pollinate that flower, sweetheart. Um, and I'm going to put the last one right there. Like so. Now, I still, I still think I need more ladybugs. I think I need a ladybug up there too. Ladybugs just give it so much color and it's so pretty. I'm not going to be using these because they're just gaudy. But I do like, oh my god, that's a beautiful butterfly. Why don't we lift you off? Glue you down here, off the edge, and glue this butterfly on top, that way, so it's got dimension. I love it. That was a great idea. Thanks, Martha. Hi, you're welcome. Oh, thanks. 
And this one, maybe we can slide him underneath, outside of this, going that way maybe, yep. I love how it hangs off the canvas. That is my favorite part. Um, hmm. I think I want him right there. Not really. Um, I like these. This is a branch that I could put here with this piece of branch. So we'll clip you and we'll glue you down. Like that. And then I'm going to put a butterfly over top. Oh no! Oh look at we need this little what? bird nest. Oh, in the tree. In the tree. Yeah, but you're not going to see what that is once I gesso it. Oh, true. Yeah. But you will definitely make how about, up. How about in your cog? Here, I'm pointing. <laughs> you can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> oh, I was going to say in the middle of that cog. Put that pretty bird right there. Um... Here's a nice wicked branch with a bird on it. We'll just sit you right there. Smell the stop and smell the roses. <laughs> That's what you can do. And this is a little flying bird. We'll put him right there. He's a flying guy. Um, where's my butterflies? I want a small butterfly to put it in. Huh. Oh my gosh. You will definitely be able to tell what this is. A birdhouse. Um, yeah, we need to put it right there. And I'm going to put a bird on it. The bird in the birdhouse. Oh, we'll put this hummingbird that she loves so much. Uh, let's see. Yeah. No. Here. 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 Huh. i got to put it on top. The birdie on the birdhouse. Hi. Um, I mean, oh my goodness. Another big birdhouse. A huge hummingbird. Oh, wow. Here's another birdhouse. We could put this one right there. Build it up with some glue. Put it up there. That's got some sideways dimension. And put this hummingbird there. <coughs> okay. I have a tummy ache. I'm not digging that too much. I do have to pick a lot of glue strings off here, but I will. This is all botanical garden. I still need a butterfly, and I didn't want a big one. Oh, I found a little one. I want it to go. Right there, to camouflage that. la -ti da Oh, that is so gorgeous. Needs a little more. I love the dimension here. There's lots of di going on right here. This part is beautiful. Um, now I'm just going to stick on, I think, some pearls. 
I'm just going to drop a few pearls. Get some round shapes. I could use these. I did bring these out. Let's dump them in the cap. Get some small sizes. I do even have smaller ones to make them look like raindrops. Ooh, that one's too big. I like this okay, tiny. Okay, I finished that earring. You finished what? My other earring. So, I got that one done. Nice. Good going. Mm-hmm. Tiny ones. I think I'll put a pearl right there. And a pearl right here. And a smaller one in here. here and a smaller one here all right and I'm gonna put a small one beside that one beside the ladybug ouch and that one kind of fell down there we go is some flowers I think and maybe a couple of wooden buttons oh. the wooden buttons will paint real easily real real easy and that I know small one on top of that one and build that one up a little bit give it a little bit of dimension there and I'm trying to think where else uh, right there put a single button these buttons are cool Martha not sure where you ever found these but they're pretty cool a uh, lady was moving, and that was a lot of her aunt's working stuff, and so I went through all the boxes, and that's what I found. Oh, right, right, right. I remember you saying that. Um, all right. I think I'm done with all of this stuff, except for my little flower, this little bird. But he, oh my goodness, he's so cute. Yeah, he has to go there. He has to go right there by the birdie house. So I want to glue on some small flowers. So let's move that out of the way because we're done with this stuff. Okay. Now I want something coming off the edge here. 
so let me just dig in all my leftover flowers. There's all kinds of them here. And I want to stick with mostly browns and different. Ooh, we could use a leaf. Could trim a leaf off there. And hang it off the edge right here. But not that one. That one's all bent. That one's only going to be good for gluing. So we could put that one there. Um, oh, wow. Look at these. These are cool. Where would this go? Good. Maybe this here, maybe. Some texture. Why not? I'll just hold that down for a second. All right. Now. I just want small flowers. Didn't want them super big. Look, I could even hang stuff off, chain off this when I'm all done. Um, here's couple of flowers. This one's good. Where's that spot I needed? It? Right there. Right there. To hide that part. Do I want that there? Not really. Do I want it? I want a smaller one there. Oh, here we go. That makes me have to cut stuff, and I don't want to cut. I want to just find small ones. Here we go. Oh man, I went by the feed store yesterday and flew very quiet. You what? I went by the bead store yesterday, and I didn't stop. Oh. Another flower there. And we need something right there. Like this kind of a flower. One here. Should glue this down. Too big. Too big. There's a little rose. I think we have enough roses. Get some pretty flowers going on here. Right there. Oh, more shiny silver beads. Oh, I know I've got shiny silver beads somewhere. I had to order silver beads. I'll have to use silver line. That is not what I wanted to use. Oh. There's these little guys. Um, right there. I know I've got some silver somewhere. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining here too. It's really crappy outside. Super crappy. Yeah, it's going to rain till tomorrow, I think. Yep. Silver beads, where would I put them? I don't know, Marta. Where would you put them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, that's a cute little tiny flower. Put it on the little guy right there. Oh, 
Um, here's a big rose, really 3D. Could put it in here. Yep, we could, and we will. Who are these? I can see. Oh, these are gold. The song that never ends It goes on and on, my friends And we need one Big one, no, we need a big one for that Okay, let's use this one I'm a game I am so game for that Let's use this one Okay, let's use this one I am so game for that I really don't need anything in there. Okay. All right, let's get these. Uh, it's a song that never ends. It goes on and on, my, my friends. Some people started singing it. Oh, I kind of like that there. Give it some oomph. These are what I do. I just dump all my flowers that I opened in packages into this big container and use them as I need them. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to make a list for the bean store. That's all there is to it. Guess you're going to have to go to the beat store, Martha. Yeah, I might do that tomorrow. There you go. Um, do I have anywhere for this guy? No, um, we're good. What about this little guy here? I'm sure there's a little speck of spot here. have a whole lot up here so let's camouflage that with a flower. Ooh, that's pretty. Anything else? Does it look good? Feel good? Hmm. Wonder if I like that hanging off. Maybe I'll take that one off and put this one there and let the beads hang. Let's try that. Not too sure I'll get this off, but hey. Well, I say just glue it right on top, you'd have your height. I already got major height. So I ended up covering, covering most of this, but that's okay. Let me see if I like that. Ooh. Do I like it there? I sure do. Oh my goodness, guys, look at how beautiful is this going to be when it's all painted. Hey. And I might even droop some more of these beads down this canvas. To the side here. Droop three strands of it. Camouflage it. With Let's have a look. Um, could, could dangle them here. Oh my god, that's going to look cool. Hey, let's do that. And then I'll camouflage it with flower here. Just put the beads right there. Owie and owie. And I'm just going to cover that with a little flower. This one is kind of cool because it's got beads in it. Don't want to hide my pine cone. OK. 
Okay, so now let me hold this up and see whereabouts we could put this piece. We'll put this one up a little higher. So right about there. And I'm going to glue it down. I'll snip it off when that glue hardens. Let's have a look. Okay, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to hang one more row of pearls. Whoopsies. I want you to stay put. We need to camouflage that so I don't forget. We'll just put this little flower on it. So I'm going to cut it with these Tim Holtz scissors. There we go. And I'm going to put that there. Uh huh. And that needs something on it. I think it needs a butterfly. That's what I, th or a ladybug. It needs a ladybug there. Yep. We are going to do it with this leaf. There we go. Hide that. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, Becky. Hmm. I think I'm going to turn this around, this leaf, and have it going this way. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Sure do. Now, I want to hang one more. And I think I'm going to just put it right there. Right alongside of the other one. And let it harden before I stand it up. And you know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to put maybe one of these. All right. No, I think it needs a butterfly, Martha. Oopsies, this. More the merrier. Yes, ma'am. I think it needs a butterfly right there. That way. Yep. So that's going to totally camouflage the beads. That's what I want. Okay, so. Wow. Glue strings from hell. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, I don't even know where to hold it. And we want to put one more layer like that. Okay. So I'm going to cut it off here. And I'm going to glue it right under here. Right under that leaf. That is so pretty. And I need something there now to kind of hide my glue. I don't want that glue showing, so let me see if I can find a little teeny tiny flower. Here's a teeny tiny flower right there. Sure, why not? There we go. There. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how pretty that's going to look. Oh, wow. I love it. Hey. Okay. Wow. That is gorgeous. Just saying. 
just saying. Do I need any more flowers anywhere? There's two, three little ones left. And we'll put them somewhere. Nuts can go with the beets. There was these, but no, I'm not going to put any more. Oops, you got to go back in here somewhere, somehow. Got her to close again. Um, all right, so I have three little blossoms to go. And I'm sure I've seen a place over here that could use a little bud. Look right there. And I kind of hate this sticking off. So I think I'll stick a bud in there. Like that. And one more flower. And we can put this one over here by the birdhouse. Yes, right there. There. Ta da! Hey, pretty blue eyes. There we go. You already had a tree. Alright, oh, this. Oh. Why not? Why waste? There. We are done loading our canvas, which I think looks amazing. I am going to get rid of all of these hairs, whatever you call these things, glue strings. I'm actually just going to melt them off with the glue gun. This is stunning. I wish you guys could see this in real life. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. This oh chain. Do you see the chain dangling down, Martha? Look at oh, cool. it's going to hang set offset. Oh my god, that looks amazing! Amazing. All right, now that's what I call a loaded board. Hey, it's gonna be nice yeah. when I get it all done. Just want to get rid of all these blue strings. They look awful. Whoa! Oh, that... Wow, that melted that, but that looks cool. Careful. I melted the plastic on the hummingbird. Yeah, I gotta be careful with these plastic pieces. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Now, right here, I have to put something because it um, doesn't look right there. So, what could I put there? Here, this maybe. It's a big hunk of glue there, and it looks awful. Dragonfly maybe? Do you have any small cogs? Yeah. Put a, maybe a cog down there. Bring some of that cog down. All right. Let's put a cog wheel. Oh. Let's put that back. <laughs> hey, 
that's what they called them on the Jetsons, anyway. I got all kinds of cogs. Um, which one do I like the best? Oh my god, look at that. It's a it's a watch. Oh, I should do that. Put that piece there. These this looks kind of cool. Yeah. So I'll put one there and I'll put another one. And I'll grab a glue stick. So I'll put one there. And a smaller one on top. And I really like this. But... Oh my goodness, why don't I just put this clock here and put something right there to hide it. And I'll put something on there. Hmm, what have I got? A boot? <laughs> no. That's yeah, Mama bought you a big dish, too. Got you a new yeah. dish. Um, why don't I put a smaller cog? Yep, let's do that. Like that. Stick the cogs out. Cog wheels here and there. I never even thought of that. Thanks, Martha. You're welcome. That's a good have idea. You got, any, have you got any tiny, tiny, tiny keys that you could put like right on that big birdhouse? Tiny. Or something on the birdhouse? Um, I don't think so, Martha. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. <laughs> Wow, these, these cogs are neat. Um, those are clocks. These are cogs. These are all different clocks. Pocket watches. And these, oh my God, got minute hands. I know, it's almost like I wish she'd move the camera over, neat, over her goodie box because I wanted to look at her goodie box. I'll show you. I love your goodie boxes. I need a small cog wheel. I need a teeny one, Martha. Like this one. It's kind of nice to, to layer them like that. And I even need another one, but a, maybe a bigger one here, like that. Let's do it. Don't change your mind. I know that's a lot of glue, but it's a metal piece. And we'll put one more right there. Okay. Well, I love that. And it needs one right there. Let's we'll start off with a biggie. And we'll work our way down to small. At the small one. And super tiny one. Huh, there we go. Hang on. Hang on. Martha wants to see my goodie box. It's pretty full. Fun. Yeah, these are all my cog wheels. Oh, I even have thinner ones too. Hey, is that a little? You got a little birdhouse or a little bird cage? Where? 
Go three over. One, two, three. No, the other way. To your left. Yeah, yeah I got one right here. Oh, oh yeah. cool. Yes, this is a very heavy box. box. <laughs> I mean, oh, heavy boxes. All right. I just have to find a place to put these uh, butterflies that I used. Oh, my God, Martha. I wish you guys could see this. Oh, my gosh. So, Not a pain and everything. <laughs> what? Not a pain and everything. This is just <laughs> stunning. So I think I'm going to snap a picture of it like this. Yeah. And then we'll see the before and after. What do you think? Yeah, good idea. Yes. It's focusing. There. All right. So...
Yes. Okay, so now I am going to gesso this all up. Not going to gesso my pearls, but I am using um, Finnebear's white gesso. And boy, this stuff is super thick, but believe me, it's going to need it. So we're just going to paint everything, make everything white might have to put two coats my ladybugs my butterflies cogwheels all the wooden sentiments and that's a good time to pull the hairs off of stuff Oh, well, these cog wheels look pretty cool. This is going to look really neat with all the layers. So, I'm taking my time. I have to stop and get baby chase today then I have to stop because I'm getting baby chase today it's my day to babysit him me and my other daughter takes turns while Cassie goes to work so I get him for about an hour and a half to two hours and then I have to go pay my aunt a visit And gesso will help adhere the Lindy's paints that I'm going to use. Lindy's, Lindy's, Lindy's. Lindy's, yes ma'am, Lindy's. Mm -hmm. Sure is, Lindy's. It will turn everything chalky. And I kind of like kind of like how um, all these layers are here. I really love it. It's just very hard to get in here with the chalk paint or not chalk paint. You want to play with one? The gesso. That but that's okay too. We will just take our time. Cover it all up. Whoops. I do not want to get paint on these crystals, plastic things. But anyway, if I do, I do. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I think I'm going to put two coats on. I think so. Looking pretty good. I love this Old World Botanical. That's what I'm going to call this. Old World Botanical Mixed Media Canvas. So that will be the title that you'll see when you enter my video. So cute. Oops, I popped off the butterfly. Whoops took a layer of the wood too. And a stupid thing. 
and I'm just going to leave that alone. That butterfly, let them dry. Oh my goodness, I have a big, huge glue string here. And I mean, if I don't get every ounce of the canvas, that's quite all right, too. It's quite all right. Love my ladybugs. They're so cute. And that little butterfly at the very top of this tree. Cute. So cute. Oh, hey. It's covering up pretty good. It's probably going to need a second coat. I can already see the cog wheels do. Just damp over where I've done. The ladybug does. <laughs> pretty much all of it's going to need second coats. Easy with this. Ah, right <laughs> I want to kind of stay with greens, browns, kind of earth tones, a little dab of pink here and there, maybe a little dab of purple. You know, just stick with earth. Ah, Mother Nature comes in all different colors. Yes, but I don't want this to be all different colors, you know. You don't want it tie-dyed? <laughs> Hell no. And you could still see my lace in places through this, too. Gorgeous mess. Miku's going. <laughs> that is beautiful. Just beautiful. I love these ladybugs. I really, really do. And I love how this is turning out. <laughs> do you hear Miku? <laughs> Trying to camouflage as much as I can with the gesso. So I can paint it. Oh, my pearls are getting paint on them, and I don't want the paint on them. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight. Um, put a second coat on these. Anything that's very dark and rich in color. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> he is too adorable.
looking good. I'm going to kind of turn it this way so I can have a look-see at places where I think I need to get, where it kind of can reach with the brush. So far it looks pretty darn good. Bless you. Thank you. looking pretty good. There is a whole lot of dimension, and this looks to me like a botanical garden, just loaded with love from nature. looking pretty good. Yeah. Pretty white. <laughs> pretty camouflaged. But I don't know. I think doing this is going to bring out every single piece that's in here. I think it will. And I really, really love the stuff that hangs off the edge that goes off the canvas. Yeah, just, I think that's neat. Yeah, instead of having just a square box canvas, you know. Oh my gosh, I love this honeycomb. And the bumblebee are little pollinators. All these guys are pollinators. The dragonflies the butterflies, the birds. Do lady, ladybugs pollinate? I can't remember if they do or not. Um, I'm not sure. They might, but I know they eat little aphids and all that stuff. Yeah, they eat the bad guys that ruin your plants, that destroy nature. <laughs> Little baby I don't think thing. they're much of a pollinator because I don't think they really go into the center of the flower. Right. Not like the bees and the birds and hummingbirds. Right. Hummingbirds love the nectar and any kind of flower. Okay. I'm going to give it another quarter turn. 
face it towards me and fill in spots where it looks like it needs it. So it's kind of even all around. So I can see better from this view. Yes, I realize it's upside down to you guys. I like it upside down because I can see everything right. Right. Well, it's all pretty white. So i got to go very gentle here because these, this wood board is very delicate. And I do not want to break it. Because I think those cogwheels look super cool hanging off of that. Yep. Super cool. Super nifty. Yeah, super nifty. I might even throw some diamond dust on this. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that would be at the very end. And, yeah, at the very end. See, there's my little birdie house. It's almost kind of like your signature. Yes. Got it, diamond dust. The diamond dust lady. I need to buy a huge supply of it. I'd like to see the difference between that and the German glass glitter. Oh? I wonder if there's much difference. I don't know. Okay, so some things I need to just touch up a little bit more so than others pieces. Are you in frame? Um, yeah, sort of. It's, I'm the best I can be so they can see me. I just want to touch up these darker pieces, you know, to get them a little lighter so that my color adheres to it. Love, love this, man. I really do going to be hard to part with it because this will probably be for sale. Not sure how much I would charge. That's something I'm going to have to think about. this lady but up a little bit more this flower that green stuff well I don't even think I painted that flower This looks pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to flip it all around, give you guys a little tour of it. Oh, wow. Everything just sands out. Now, 
guys see ain't that gorgeous I love those cogwheels up especially up here I just love that love 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 it okay so I'm thinking I'll let this completely dry because I gotta jump in the shower because I've got to go to my aunt's and I guess uh, baby Chase might not be coming today I would have had him by now she usually brings him oops I can see a little bits of pieces where I missed with the gesso and that's you want to just kind of look around play around with your brush a little bit in all the cracks and crevices but I really think this makes everything pop just the white <laughs> yeah like you can see all these pieces these little flowers mm -hmm. so beautiful Wow. I think that looks pretty good. When it dries, I think it might dry a little bit lighter too. Whoops. Wreck that petal. Fix up the bee. The little baby bee. All right. That's all I'm going to do for that for now. And I will let this sit. And when I get home from my aunt's, I was going to put some uh, something sandy, earthy colors. Oops. Okay, I'll be back. i got to let my dog out. Tia, I'm coming. <laughs>